the tech lead at Uzima Health. Thank you very much for joining us right here on Business Today. Mm -hmm. First of all, talking of Uzima Health, we know Uzima is being alive. W what's the app like? What is it all about? So thank you, Noah, for hosting me today. Uh, Uzima Health itself is a healthcare solution that uh, from the word Uzima, yeah, you can relate. Mm -hmm. It's a healthcare solution and uh, also a technology platform that uh, creates this form of network of healthcare providers around uh, the patient. Yeah? So when we look at Uzima, our central focus is the patient. Mm -hmm. We have uh, this system that runs hospitals, that creates network between hospital labs, different hospital, different healthcare providers. Mm -hmm. But the main aim of this system is to, to make it efficient for the patient to get the best care uh, possible at all levels in the healthcare industry. So uh, when we talk about Uzima Health, there are two aspects. Mm -hmm. One is the hospital management system, which is basically designed to be efficient and seamless for patient experience. Mm -hmm. And then we also provide a way in which the patient, in this case you and me, mm -hmm. or our brothers at home, our siblings, will be able to access healthcare mm -hmm. no matter where they are. So we, have, we also have a patient application, okay. an Android application. This, this patient application connects the patient to the hospitals, connects the patient to the labs, mm. connects the patient to the doctors. Oh, yeah. that, that's quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, now the patient has a direct access, not just physical, but through online. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this can, can, can raise a little bit of concerns, yeah. especially from the patient side. Yeah. For example, if I have, you know, access to, 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 to some lab or a doctor, yeah then it gives me a high recommendation. Uh, are there some of the downside to eat, for example, matters, you know, uh, somebody, you know, you self-prescribe now, based on what the doctors told you, now you jump to conclusion. Are there such dangers and delicacies that you deal with, and how are you covering on that? So uh, when you look at the patient application and mm -hmm. the way it works, First of all, it connects you directly to doctors. Mm -hmm. That means you can talk to a doctor online. Yeah? The other way uh, in which you can use the patient application is to book an appointment with a hospital, okay. which also on the other side, remember, is convenient for the hospital as they can program themselves. They know how many doctors they'll need for the day because these are the number of confirmed appointments with, with our patients. Mm -hmm. And then the system, or well, once the patient goes to the hospital, the system, everything is handled within the Uzima Health system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and remember, as I told you earlier on, mm -hmm. this system is designed to help the patient. Mm -hmm. So everything, when it comes to the hospital clinical processes, they have been designed to be seamless so that as a patient, as Kadenge mm -hmm. in the hospital, I'm able to be attended to as fast as possible. Yeah. And then, the, then there's the, that case of data, mm -hmm. in which how secure is my information when I'm communicating with a doctor online. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, every data that we collect is secured, and every patient is in control of their own information. Mm -hmm. yeah? That means they give access to the people that they want to access that information. Mm -hmm. So they have that control. You know, we want to give the patient, we want to empower them. We want to give them that control over who accesses their information, when is the, their information being accessed. So when you go to see a doctor, mm -hmm. you, you can allow the doctor to access your, your data, your previous medical records. Everything is stored securely on, in the system. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk matters to do with our cost, because mm. Kenyans were very cost sensitive, yeah. especially looking at the economy right yeah. now. Um, comparative cost analysis yeah. between using me as, as a normal monanchi mm. using this particular application vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, going to see a, a doctor face-to-face, -face, even, you know, without using the application to, to book an appointment and whatnot. Is there a cost-benefit attached to, you know, utilization of technology when it comes to access of healthcare? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. First of all, think of it this way. You, we save on you in terms of time. We save on convenience. At your comfort in your home, you are able to access a doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other thing, remember, I can give a story of my grandmother. Yeah, my grandmother is lucky. 
she suffers she suffers from diabetes but she has this pool of doctors and nurses around her uh, as as uh, as aunts mm -hmm. this gives her a bit of confidence because anytime there is an emergency all she needs to do is pick a call pick a phone call the next aunt and my aunt will attend to her mm -hmm. but how many kenyans have that privilege so we want to that's where Uzima comes in. Yeah, mm -hmm. we want to bring in that doctor, that virtual doctor that you can talk to, you can trust, mm -hmm. and uh, through our vetting processes, we ensure that uh, you are covered. Like you, you access the best doctors, mm -hmm. the best services. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of cost, mm -hmm. think of it this way. Also, no, mm -hmm. anytime you want to go to a hospital, you need to either get a means. Uh, you need to uh, book yourself in for some time during the day, maybe you sell two, three hours. Mm -hmm. And also, when you go to the hospital, yes. you are not uh, assured of getting immediate service. You'll stay there for one, two hours. Actually, research and, and study when it comes to matters of health in Kenya, you will have to wait on average at least one hour to, mm -hmm. uh, to be attended to in, in a hospital. So it kills so, that. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's quite interesting. Yeah. And uh, uh, wrapping up, uh, first of all, Levin, before we wrap up, the uptake of this particular, you know, uh, application, uh, be it in the health sector, that is management uh, of systems in hospitals and also personal uptake in terms of yeah. application. How has it been so far? Yeah. So when it comes to that, uh, we have been in the market for the past three months. Uh, like last week, I met uh, three different hospitals. They are mm -hmm. really big hospitals. And the main challenge, of course, when it comes to a new product that we're intro introducing into the market, we are meeting two main types of clients. Mm -hmm. One is the one that doesn't have a system, and the other one is the one that is using uh, probably an old, outdated system. Mm -hmm. So when we go out there, we meet a few clients. They once they experience this product, they, they, kick, they come in immediately. Yes. Like they want to come on board mm -hmm. as fast as possible. So for this week, we are looking forward to getting five hospitals on board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. And these are big hospitals. And the same thing applies to doctors. Mm -hmm. We have been receiving so many requests. So we are uh, in the process of vetting them, ensuring that these doctors are qualified and also they are passionate in what they are doing because yep. that's what we do at Uzim. Definitely. Yeah. That's amazing. And uh, uh, thank you very much for making time.